Burnout is becoming a very common ailment. It relates specifically to the workplace and stems from factors at one's job. The problem is increasing because of the combination of heavy workloads, societal pressures to spend more time working, and constantly staying connected to work. Burnout exists across all industries, but it's especially common among healthcare workers. Organizations must offer resources to help decrease this mental health issue, but first we need to recognize and understand the signs of burnout. Hi everyone, I'm Matt Moneypenny from eTactics, and today I'm going to give you some of the clear signs of physician burnout. But before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it so that when we post new helpful content, you get notified. First and foremost, I'm not a doctor, but the facts I'm saying in this video are from credible sources. But rather than talking about symptoms to diagnose burnout, I'm talking about signs that you might notice in yourself or your peers that point to it, and in this video, I want to raise awareness. The first sign a doctor is experiencing burnout is loss of motivation. 33% of physicians report excessive fatigue. This exhaustion causes physicians to have less motivation with doing their job. Nearly 50% plan to retire, reduce work hours, or leave their position because of burnout. 26% specifically have less motivation to be careful with note-taking. This lack of motivation can lead to our next sign, making mistakes. If physicians don't make the effort to be careful, they're likely to make more errors at work. One survey found that 14% of doctors with burnout made mistakes that they wouldn't normally make. Another survey found that 10.5% made a major medical error in just three months before the survey. The mental fatigue that healthcare workers experience due to burnout leads to difficulty sleeping as well, which is our third sign. Doctors already don't get a healthy amount of sleep because of their long working hours. Being tired makes it harder for them to focus and function at work. But mental fatigue causes stress that can disrupt sleep, and less sleep leads to more fatigue. This becomes a difficult cycle to break. Physicians who experience burnout are also more likely to have a negative overall view. This could be towards family, coworkers, friends, or just in general about life. This leads to a more cynical attitude. Cynicism among doctors with burnout symptoms increased from 44.8% in 2014 to 51.1% in 2017. This leads to the next sign, which is anger and exasperation. When physicians experience the negative burnout effects, they're likely to show anger at work. 47% of physicians said that they feel exasperated with coworkers and staff, and another 40% express frustration in front of their coworkers. 35% even express irritation with their patients. Although these negative emotions cause a lack of enjoyment, only 29% of doctors reported that they're happy at their work. This cause of burnout causes lower satisfaction of other activities that they would find enjoyable otherwise. Physicians will start feeling like work is taking over their lives the more they experience burnout. They feel that there is no time for anything else. Less than half of physicians are happy with their balance between work and personal life. Only 43% say that they're satisfied with their work-life integration at this current moment. Our eighth sign of physician burnout is feelings of failure. When they feel unmotivated, make mistakes at their job, and don't enjoy their work, they're more likely to feel like they've failed. Those with high levels of burnout experience feelings of isolation, loss of belonging, and failure. This is often combined with the feeling of being a burden on partners, family, friends, and society in general. After a while of feeling the effects, physicians will feel even more unmotivated to work. This brings us to our final sign, which is skipping work or coming in late. Without feeling satisfaction or success at work, they won't feel eager to get there and try to avoid it if they can. 31% of physicians try to reduce their work hours because of this mental health issue. Not only that, but 20% of those with burnout arrive late to work already. It's important to recognize the signs of burnout so that organizations, family, and friends can help physicians when they experience it. Doctors are less likely to ask for help because they think that they should be the ones providing care, not getting it themselves. But with the right resources and support, we can encourage those struggling with burnout to get the help that they need. If you'd like to learn more about signs of physician burnout, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. Well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our channel.